Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time doing some post-duel commentary, as well as trying out a new format of video that's heavily inspired on my old formats. If you've watched my channel for any length of time over like a span of a year, uh, you'll know that I used to do one game per video, and it made the videos nice and, you know, short and a nice digestible length, but they were also very mismatched in terms of what went up on multiple, like, uploads for one day. It would be very differing matchups, but instead I'm going to be playing full match style videos uh, like I have been doing, but instead I'm going to split them up into more digestible videos, being split up into games 1, 2, and 3. That's for ease of comment responses, for uh, ease of uh, like management as far as uh, video uploads, as well as just to like just make it overall just a little bit more digestible for people that don't want to sit through an entire 30 minute video. If they'd rather sit through it in 5 to 10 minute long parts, that's whatever. But so that's this is going to be the first of the videos that uh, conform to that standard, as well as post dual commentary is just easier for me for this specific matchup because I absolutely hate the deck that I'm playing against. Uh, but I'm playing against Kaiser, he's from my Discord server, and he's playing the Wind Witch Invoked Artifact deck, and I absolutely hate this deck. I feel like it's the most non-player interaction deck in the format. And, um, like, it's it's very much a deck that, with this deck that I'm playing, which is my tweaked Performer Pal list, it's the only matchup in the game currently that I've been playing on a regular basis that is legitimately a die roll. Especially considering the fact that we can't side in these games. If I go second, game one, I'm very likely going to lose the entire match, because this deck is very difficult to deal with in terms of it just shits out crystal wings, it puts out Merkabas and things, and the deck's main deck that I'm playing is not really built to tr like combat against those boards, because I don't really have any ways to deal with an indestructible crystal wing in the main deck outside of literally a lone copy of Book of Moon or Odd Eyes Fusion, but the Odd Eyes Fusion is going to get negated by the crystal wing, so I have to have a, a pendulum that I'm willing to shovel back in my extra deck. And then even at that, I could still lose to things like Dimensional Barrier, Solemn Strike, and all that, which are cards that this deck plays loads of. But So as you see, he's got a Crystal Wing, and he's now able to Artifact Sanctum me after I make an MX Saber Invoker. Now the previous turn, I had summoned a Terra Top, literally, since I also drew Takatan Borg, so my hand is an utter complete brick. Uh, like, my deck has so many starter cards. My deck has, like, upwards of, like, almost 20, if not more, starter cards in it, or cards that, like, yield a better play. But instead, I draw these bricks like Takatam Borg and Mask Chameleon. I don't get it. Uh, it's just something that's unfortunate bad luck that happens from time to time. But, so, I, as you saw, I special to uh, Terra Top and uh, just used it to stay alive. Set a Dimensional Barrier. I could have probably just set both Dimensional Barriers, so I could have probably called Fusion and then Synchro on my own turn. But he was able to stop my play, my Invoker play, with a, with a, a Sanctum into, uh, into Scythe. And basically, Dimensional Barrier me out for multiple turns, essentially, because... The, uh, the Scythe doesn't really, you know, have any sort of downside that Barrier does. It's a body, and it also restricts the entire extra deck summoning mechanic, and not just, not just one. And so, I set my other Barrier, and I'm going to do the exact same thing I did the first time, bait the Crystal Wing Negation, and then flip Dimensional Barrier calling Synchro. But that's just really unfortunate for me, because if having to flip the Barrier calling Synchro there, my only out to this Crystal Wing at this point is to make... Ignister, which I could have made had Barrier not be restricting me from making Synchros as well, because I could have used the Bullhorn that you see here to search for my Dragoons of Draconia, I could have scaled up with uh, with Magical Android, or not Magical Android, Jesus, it's been a few years, Magical Abductor and Lizard Draw and Pendulum Summoned the, uh, the Dragoons, well actually no, I can't even Pendulum Summon the Dragoons, my bad, because of the fact that Mass Chameleon does not allow you to special summon from your hand. I remember that coming up literally later in this exact same turn. You can only special summon from the extra deck the turn you use Mass Chameleon's effect. But that's fine, that's not why you run the card in this list. You use it because it's a searchable card off your zoo plays, and then you can then Pendulum Summon it, or Normal Summon it, and use no effect after you've done your Pendulum Summon, and you're able to just make Stardust Dragon, which is a very, a very strong card in the format, uh, in case you didn't know. But... Uh, so like yeah, like you say, I scale up attempting to summon my like dragoons so I can make like diamond iron at least pop a backer or make emerald and shuffle back resources since this crystal wing is negated. But I can't even do that, and so now I'm stuck with this dryden on the board that uh, that can't do anything to his crystal wing because it's still indestructible by card effects. Like I said, without siding, this matchup is very lopsided. It's very hard for me, um, and this is like I said, the only matchup in the game that I think that I've play tested to a significant extent that I cannot win if I lose the die roll 99% of the time, especially in unsighted games. The fact that these are unsighted means that it's just an absolute, like, completely lopsided, like, smorgasbord of hatred for my entire deck, because, like, 
like I said, I can't out Crystal Wings. Um, I've got things like Ghost Ogre in the main deck, which are really subpar against this deck because you can't hit a lot of things without giving up cards in the process. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff that just ends up not being in my favor for how this uh, goes. And so, yeah, I just overlay into a card, try to use it to summon uh, Rat Pierre. Maybe he won't negate it, uh, but he does. He just negates it with the Crystal Wing. And so then I've got another Rat in hand and the Dragoons that I searched. So I'm just like, I can pendulum these and try to stay alive. Uh, but he has three back row, and it's almost basically like pretty much a given at this point that one of them is Solemn Strike. It's it's very easy to understand how this sort of thing goes. And this deck is, like I said, one of those decks that I'm just I'm not a huge fan of. That's why I haven't done a lot of it on my channel in terms of playing it, because as I played it more and more, I just realized it was kind of the the lack of player interaction deck. It was the deck that you played if you legitimately just wanted to either win or lose and have no say in it whatsoever whether your opponent has like things to do because you like make crystal wing raijin and set traps and you win or you don't open anything and you just basically lose or you're able to sanctum your opponent out of the game for a turn for you to draw a combo piece and win like that's the that's the biggest thing that I've been noticing with the Wind Witch Eidolon artifact deck in general, and it's something that I really don't like about it. But anyway, like I said, if you want to check Game 2 out, there will be a link to that video on screen right now as well as in the description, and if you want to go check that out, feel free to do so. But we're going to take a little bit of a break here, and so if you want to watch Game 2, go for it. If not, I'll see you around in a different video. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense, let me know what you guys think, and as always, guys, take care.